You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters. At this place in history, we're in Stowe with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. What brings us to Stowe today? So we are going to explore a little bit of an obscure piece of history that happened almost exactly 100 years ago. So we're going to go over to the Stowe Historical Society and see Pat Haslam, who's a trustee emeritus of the society, to tell us all about it. So Pat, a 100-year anniversary and an obscure piece of history, what are we talking about? So I've got a lot of stuff under my bed and I'm refiling things so that I can find them. Out jumps this little uh, snapshot and I thought, oh, this, this deserves to be written about. So I started to investigate and it's a, a photograph, familiar looking men in an open touring car in 1919. And these folks turned out to be Henry Ford, <laughs> Harvey Firestone, Thomas Edison, and the naturalist John Burroughs. So those names sound really familiar. For those who don't know, who are these guys? Three of them are industrialists. Harvey Firestone started the tire business. Thomas Edison had 114 patents of his own, one of which was an electric car. Henry Ford, of course, you know, he didn't invent the whole car thing, but he was had a lot to do and uh, did the mass production and, and built the car, became a billionaire before 1919. So we've got these, this group in, a, in an open touring car who visited Stowe, the north part, we're almost to the Morristown line, in 1919, almost 100 years ago to the day. And what brought them here to Stowe? Well, they did camping trips between 1916 and 1927. This group put out uh, sometimes eight trucks with the tents and the servants and the food and uh, the camping gear and the folding things uh, for chairs and uh, camped anywhere from the Catskills, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Vermont, of course. They were here overnight at the corner of Route 100 and the Randolph Road. That's fascinating. What was the purpose of this tour then? Was it just for they fun? Or it was for recreation listening? for them. And uh, they were all, all the photographs show them in white shirts, ties, they aren't sport coats then, but they were jackets or even suits. So they, uh, not the attire we <laughs> expect in camping today. Yeah. <laughs> Stowe's first glampers. At this place in history. You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters.